Hello, Joanne Good. Sorry? What? I was going to say I've got this poncho thing on. What is it that you want done to the garage? I want my table restored back to the cupboard it's supposed to be in in this house. But why is it there's always an issue with the garage? Well, what is it about the garage? Well, it's because it looks like a tip and just before you put your stuff in it, I'd had it cleared out because I'd sold the car and all the garage, it looked lovely. All I had to do was walk in and put the put all my stuff beautifully immaculate. Now it's like an old, well, like a rag and bone man's place. Yeah, but that's got all my stuff in from my previous marriage and my previous life. It's all in well, there. I'm very sorry your marriage broke up, but I don't see why I should, should suffer just because your marriage broke yeah, up. Yeah, but I have to put the stuff somewhere, don't I? You know, where else can I put it if it's not... And my brother's stuff is in there as well. Yes, but his is in sacks. It's only books. I know what his stuff is. It's just books and I can move that. For, well, I could before I had this silly stroke. But what are you reading? I'm reading this... Adam Henson, you know the chap that comes on TV on Let Sundays. me have a look. Adam Henson. Mm. Very interesting. You, you'd enjoy reading it. He's like you, mad about dogs. Oh, right. So this is the dreaded... This this garage of my mother's causes her and I, we have more rows over this garage because it has my life, my previous life in it. I mean, this doesn't say a great deal about my previous life, but it has, you know, um, I don't know if you actually, the light, oh, there's a light. That was the cats. Those were my dad's boots. This garage contains literally the history of, well, our lives since we've been in England, which is since 19... 70. So this is it. Oh. All this stuff is what I had in my Brighton flat. I'm going to Brighton tomorrow, actually. Um, and I'll show you the outside of my flat in Brighton. I can't show you the inside because uh, there's someone living in it. But um, all of this. And, oh my God, she's got rid of the mirrors. There were mirrors here that I got from Brighton. And she's obviously chucked them out. Uh... This place, my mother gets so freaked out about this garage, it doesn't matter, no one comes in here, but she thinks that the gas man can't walk from there round to there. Anyway, look at all these books. P.F. Original Sin. Horrific sufferings of the mind-reading monster Hercules Barefoot. I have quite an eclectic taste in books. And, uh, oh my goodness. So this is some of my Brighton stuff. Loads of mirrors. When I was younger, I used to like looking at myself. Not quite so often now. Uh, but anyway. Oh, this is my old book from Australia. Graded word book for Australian schools. Yeah, well, that explains a lot about my... <laughs> Use of vocabulary, probably. I don't know where this garden table is that she wants. No idea where it is. It's not here, is it? Ah, that might be it. Ah, this is it. A bit of a time lapse and I'll get it out. I don't know how to time lapse, actually. This is Brighton and three pill bags. This is where I lived for about 15 years. And over here is my flat. My flat is just over the side of this green. I used to sunbathe on this green. That's basically why I've got so much sun damage. And my flat is there. My flat was literally there.
think that parking in London is bad, you want to come to Brighton, it's an absolute nightmare. And also, it's all on a hill. I'm just hoping that uh, that's not going to roll down. If it does, it'll roll down and hit the BMW. I suppose that's a good thing. This is, I used to walk this route when I worked uh, for the BBC here in Brighton. This is how I'd walk in every morning. I'd do the breakfast show down here. And um, I'd walk down here at about half past four in the morning. And sometimes there'd be people. One day I walked down and there was a kid just skateboarding down that hill. And it was just lovely. No noise, just the dolls. And, um, and this kid skateboarding. So anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to visit my friend Yanina, who still works at the BBC here in Brighton. And uh, we worked together for 12 years. I have not been back to this studio for like 15 years. This is a very famous Queen's Road. And there's the sea. This is the, this is the road Graham Green used to write about in Brighton Rock. And uh, it's changed so much. Well, that's new. This used to be full of old vintage shops, people selling old uh, suits. It's like, um, suit you sir, suit you sir. Uh, that Harry Enfield sketch, they say it was based on a guy selling second-hand clothes just along here. Anyway. He's hiding up your arm. <laughs> This is so weird. Well, she said she'd meet me here. Now I have no idea. There she is. I thought I was going because you're so brown. Oh my god, you need her. Please don't. Oh my goodness me. So this is this is my old studio. And now all the new presenters, well some of them are some of them are the same. Who's on air? David. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is he actually on air? This is hysterical. Is he on air or pre-recording? This is, I have not been here, Yanina. Now. How long have I, how long is it since I've been here? 10, 12 years. Literally, I haven't be. walked in here. I don't think I've walked in here for this long. I think you walked here. And I'm just gonna go and have a look at, this is Studio One. This was, Hello, Joanne Good. <laughs> now, this this presenter was a child when I came. I have a lot to owe him, actually. I do have a lot to owe you, don't I? I remember when I first met you in 1993. <laughs> you were answering the phones on the Sussex Breakfast Show. I thought, oh, who is this woman? She won't be around for long. How wrong I was. He said, who is this gorgeous creature? He's far too good looking for radio. I, I did, I did, I did. And, um, and actually, David, you did teach me this desk. I did, a new desk since you were last here, but the, the principle's the same. Yes, I remember the fun we used to have sitting in these studios. Do you know, um, can I just tell you, these these studios are so much, oh gosh, I can't see a thing. <laughs> these studios are so much cleaner and tidier than London. London, as you all know, is like a skip. Um, and we sort of spray our territory like polecats. <laughs> but this is so tidy, probably down to you. Well, of course, yeah, it's always impeccably tidy. Hey, nice headphones. Thank you, yes, vintage headphones is my new thing. You Ma look, made in 1975. They look, you look very well. Thank you, You yes. look really well. And so do you, it must be so long. Oh no, I've got no eye makeup on. You still look gorgeous. Please God, please God, please God, don't let me have a parking ticket. Please, 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 Brighton, be kind. Be kind, be kind, be kind. God. I used to call this cellulite hill because it actually, my car is behind this black BMW. My day will be made if there's no ticket. If there is one, then, and there isn't. There isn't. Brighton, I love you. Woo!